Welcome to World Famous Guarantee RV Super Centers here in Junction City, Oregon. Hello. I am smiling. I'm Gary Christians. Welcome. The product I'm going to highlight today is a Jayco product. It's a little uh, 264 bunkhouse, real popular model, weighs about 4,800 pounds. Come on inside. The nice thing about a 264 is they have nice wide beds, so there's plenty of room for two, two kids to sleep up here, or one larger one, and there's a little bit of room over there for, for all their stuff, and they got a little grab assist handle here, their own privacy curtain on both levels, and they have an emergency exit over here, so if they needed to get out, they could. Bathroom, got a nice generous skylight with plenty of headroom. Uh, holder for your shower head and of course your curtain plenty of leg room in here toilet papers easy um, sinks bro broke outside that way you can have somebody in here and somebody out here brushing their teeth place for a towel does have an entertainment center in here it's all wired up if you wanted to add something in here we have storage up on top on both sides as well as storage underneath a dinette. Norco refrigerator. I like it. It's on my unit. And it's a Jayco too, by the way. You have a temperature control here so you don't freeze your lettuce. That way you can not make it so cold. Plenty of room. Adjustable shelves. And what feature I like is there's a deep tray down here. So if for any reason when you had ice or something, it melted. It's not going to overflow and go down, down the front of your refrigerator. And you'll be able to clean it up. And the rack is adjustable. Three burner stove. Uh, easy spark ignition. Little microwave. Storage down below for a garbage can. And a couple drawers. Notice it's all plywood. Double sink, GFI on your outlet, monitor panel for your pump and all your tank capacities. Little couch folds out as well as the dinette to make an additional bed in top of the bunks in the back. So up in the master suite, you've got two nightstands on both sides, electrical outlets. Uh, if you run a CPAP like I do, that's a nice, nice thing to have. Plenty of storage up on top, LED lights e within easy reach, and this is the size of my closet, and I can put a lot of shirts in there and jackets. There's plenty of room. Uh, all your shades are pulled down, and underneath the bed, air cylinder assist. Um, I did wall mine off across the front, so everything stays up there, and there's a little room back in this area. Uh, but either way works good. Nice, comfortable mattress. We like ours. And then by having the wall only a partial wall, it's nice and open. And then, of course, at nighttime, for privacy, you can run it across on the track. Got air conditioning. It's ducted air. So you can direct the air or shut it off uh, wherever you might want to go. Here's one of the ducts right here. You just pop it open and then you just turn it whichever direction and they're all throughout. Um, temperature controls for your heat and air conditioning are lo both located right here, one spot. Easy to find, easy to use. I think we're done in here. Let's head outside. Now this floor looks like wood, it's linoleum, and it cleans nice, it holds up well, and when we travel, yep, both dogs go along with us. Triple entry step, grab handle assist, close your door, you can separate the screen door. Do you know how many mosquitoes were over in the Coast Memorial weekend? Man, that was a hatch, unbelievable. We'll start right here. So this is the front storage that I was talking about. 
I opened up the other side, take a look at that. Plenty of room for storage. It does have a latch here for your door to keep it open in case the wind. It's got a triple step, uh, so you have a low, low entry, so you're not stepping up real high. We have an electric awning. Now, you look right up in here, the outdoor speaker is in the awning arm. So you don't have to worry about two more holes in the side of your unit. It's all in the awning. Now, this one, this one does have the off-road package. They've outfitted it with bigger tires and some diamond plating up front that I'll go over. Some more exterior storage. Nice space, plenty of room. Hot water tank, direct spark ignition on that. Uh, bumper is your sewer hose, uh, storage location. Four stabilizer jacks on all four corners. Full size spare tire. And this, this is the driver's side where all the works are. So you have your uh, holding tank drain, your t dumps right here, the black tanks on the right hand side, gray tank is on the left. Of course, you always want to pull the black first and then rinse it out with the gray. Plenty of ground clearance back here. You don't have to worry about going in a remote area and tearing it off. This does have outdoor shower, hot and cold water does have a black water flush. Darn it, Jim, I didn't get that. Mine's a year old. So you have a black water flush, so when you go to dump your black tank, you hook garden hose up here, and you make sure you open up the valve, because it's gonna start filling up the tank, and if you forget, it's not pretty. 110 outlet right here for your power cord. We also supply an adapter at delivery as part of our delivery process. And this slips down, so them little critters don't get in. City water fill. So if you're at a park, you run your hose into here to run your water while you're staying there at, at your campsite. If we're gonna go more remote, you can put water in here. This is for the fresh water tank that you carry with you. Furnace intake and exhaust. It says hot here, because it's got air coming in and hot air coming out. Watch, watch your pinkies. And you got all your uh, guides here in the weight and uh, Right here, it's 48, 48.43. Part of the off-road package, I mentioned you have diamond plate, which is up here. You've got LED lights for your landing lights, so if you're doing any work out here, uh, you have plenty of light. It has two seven and a half gallon bottles. Uh, you can access them through this viewport here. Get in, turn them off. You can turn your valve around. Or, if you want to make it really simple, you can lift the whole thing off. Two and five sixteenths ball. In about 20 minutes, we can pull this jack out and put a power jack on. Just run wire, one wire over to the battery, with the battery we supply with your delivery, and you've got an electric jack. Now, I know you probably have a question or two. We do have several in stock now. We're restocked uh, for the camping season. Don't miss out on your opportunity to take your family out and go camping. Thanks for your interest. Remember, ask for Gary. Call me direct at 541-554-9581. Appreciate your interest. Good day.